suuri valiokunnan huone over there. The EU has set the target of reducing or restricting climate change to a maximum of 2 degrees Celsius. Yes. And if you look at what that means in practice for emissions, uh, the implications are very radical. They are. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, on a global level we would have to reduce emissions by about 50 to 85 percent by 2050. And that's the global average which means that in industrialized countries with high emission levels the need to reduce emissions is even bigger. So we would have to reduce emissions definitely more than 60 percent, mm -hmm. perhaps 80 percent, perhaps even more. And then we'll see Well, I'm a journalist by profession and I majored in journalism in, in the University of Tampere and uh, have also worked in that field for some time, but for the past four years or so I have been here in the parliament, a member of parliament. And since, since this spring in 2007, uh, I was appointed as the climate policy specialist in the Prime Minister's office here in Finland. The moment of the wolf, daybreak. It's the moment when you don't really know whether it's dark or light. It's somewhere between of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and in nature, it was the moment when wolves go hunting. Okay. It's the, it was the moment when Northern American Indians went hunting and to the war. And it's the moment when shamans went to trance. Um, I, yesterday I had uh, a nice conversation with one of the most famous painters, with Osmo Rauhala. He did actually take the same train this morning to Helsinki with me. <laughs> the word is small. Did you talk with him? No, I no. don't actually know him personally, okay. but I recognized him. And uh, <laughs> this is one of, of the paintings that he made that, that I love most, and it is called The Daybreak, The Moment of the Wolf. Mm, that is the moment between, you know, two, two unchaotic states, the day and the night. And in between there is, is a moment, mm. a moment of radical change. And that is the moment when the wolf goes hunting. What is your association when you see this picture? Wow. Mm. Well, it reminds me of many thing, many things. Um, one is the, the kind of deep fear and hatred many things have for for big animals like wolves and bears nowadays, and our inability to, in a modern world, to live with those animals we have lived with for centuries, and now we have lost that capacity to live together with the nature. But also, um, I think the kind of moment between day and night, the twilight, is interesting in a, in a political way as well, because I think radical changes can happen and do happen sometimes very in a very short period of time. And um, the reason why I'm optimistic about climate politics is that I believe that changes in the, in the political atmosphere can take place in a matter of of a couple of years, if, if not months. And the fact that we have been wasting time for, for 10, 20 years doesn't mean that we can't make progress quite soon. And I'm seeing seeds of hope in what has taken place in the past year. And I kind of hope that, in that sense, the, the moment of the wolf will take place in, in, in climate policies as well.